Oh, uh, today we'll first uh, review the notion of uh, filtered phi modulus or filtered DNA modulus or filtered uh, isocrystals. So, uh, let uh, start with the following definition. We fix a vector space. Say, um, okay, uh, so let K be a vector space. So we will denote first by fill K the category of uh, filtered k vector spaces. K, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Filtered k vector spaces. So, namely, oh, the objects delta equipped with uh, a decreasing filtration which is exhaustive and uh, separated. And uh, morphisms in this category, so as a natural, um, it's a natural thing. So you have two vector, uh, filtered vector spaces, delta prime and delta second. So uh, a morphism is a linear map, which uh, preserves the filtration. So, uh, the point is that this is uh, an additive category. With uh, kernels and co-kernels. Which is not a billion. So if uh, we have uh, an object of this category, delta, oh, we can consider the graduated filtration, the uh, graduation of this filtration. Uh, and uh, uh, consider the following quantity, Tn of delta, which uh, already appeared in uh, the Udi's uh, talk of this in this morning in the context of uh, uh, crystals. So this is a sum Like sum, uh, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, this is T uh, H, H for uh, Hodge, and uh, this uh, assignment is additive, so if you have a, an exact sequence, Mm 
then uh, TOG of delta is uh, TOG of delta prime plus TOG delta second. And also, we can remark that the order can be computed in terms of uh, determinant of delta. So if uh, we denote by the uh, determinant of delta the high exterior power of delta, This is a one-dimensional vector space with induced uh, filtration, one-step filtration. And uh, again, sorry? Finite dimensional, yeah. Thank you. So then TOG coincides with TOG of the determinant. So uh, now let's consider, yeah, thank you. A field K0, which for a moment is completely different, so this is a different picture, uh, which is a field of fractions of uh, with vectors with coefficients in a perfect field of characteristic P. Yeah. This is infinite. Uh, Filtration in both directions, but it is exhaustive and complete, so almost all quotients are zero. So you have only a finite number of terms. Yes. Yes. Yes, but uh, one step, this is one step filtration, yeah? But it is non, uh, somewhere it is exactly, so the, the only break is uh, at th of delta. Uh, this is an exercise, so. <laughs> so for example, if you, uh, I take uh, two copies of K, so uh, consider uh, K included by K, this is delta zero, this is delta one. Uh, here you take zero. K, so this is your, say, uh, Delta one zero, delta uh, one one. So you can find easily the kernel and co kernel, but the sequence will not be exact. So office map. So uh, in categorical sense, yeah. So the kernel is uh, clearly uh, zero because we have your identity here. Uh, kernel is also zero. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's consider uh, Frobenius acting, absolute Frobenius acting on uh, K zero. So uh, uh, today, uh, for us, a phi module uh, over K0 is by definition a finitely dimensional vector space. 
M. With a semilinear uh, isomorphism, uh, F, uh, which is semilinear, uh, semilinear with respect to uh, phi. So oh, uh, we denote by M uh, K zero phi the category of uh, phi modules, and uh, here there is no problem. This is an abelian category. Abelian tensor category, and. Uh, and uh, in this category, uh, we define uh, T n and for Newton. The following way. So uh, this is uh, the periodic evaluation of lambda, where So lambda is defined as follows. We take the determinant of M, which is also uh, so a one-dimensional uh, K0 space with uh, an action now uh, phi. So we take a basis here and uh, Phi of E is lambda E, and the valuation doesn't depend on the choice of E. So we have a similar property, so this assignment is additive. These uh, examples fit in uh, a general picture. So let me just uh, summarize that. Here we have uh, two assignments, important assignments. The rank of a filtered module, which is just its dimension, and uh, we'll call degree a function th. So here we have a well defined rank, which is a dimension of m over k0. And uh, we define the degree of M as uh, minus Tn of M. So minus the, this choice is a uh, little bit technical, but uh, yeah. Uh, in this case, it will it is compatible with uh, the choice uh, so adopted in, uh, for example, in the book of uh, Fontaine uh, Farg. Um, and uh, uh, the both examples. Uh, so there, there is a third example which will be important for uh, um, real applications to uh, Fontaine Farg curve. And also, so the, in fact, this is the first example where this phenomenon or where maybe probably studied. So the category of vector bundles over a projective curve where so the rank of a vector bundle is uh, well defined and uh, so its degree 
is defined as a degree of its determinant. So, uh, in all these cases, one can define uh, the slope function. So, in the both, uh, in, a, in all cases, one one defines the slope function as a degree of x divided by the rank, and. Uh, uh, we have a formalism of slopes, uh, so harder Narisim Han filtration. Which uh, was uh, generalized in the framework of very uh, general uh, Categories by Yvon Train. So, <coughs> slope filtrations, a paper which, uh, which is published. So, where uh, Andre formalizes this, uh, so the theory of Harder Nassim Han. So, uh, uh, he uh, supposed that uh, uh, some uh, not necessarily abelian category is given. So we have an additive uh, category. With kernels and co kernels. Uh, we have some, uh, so the class of uh, exact, of short exact sequence. Uh, we have uh, these two functions, additive functions. Degree and rank, which satisfies uh, some uh, list of properties in particular, so there should be, um, the rank should be positive. So they both uh, take values in Z, but in addition, uh, the rank should be positive. And uh, yes, some uh, more conditions. which uh, 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 explain why uh, the theory works not necessarily for, uh, uh, for abelian categories, but also in some larger categories. And uh, uh, so uh, in this situation, uh, uh, one defines the slope of an object x, The degree by the rank. Uh, uh, we say that uh, a monomorphism F in uh, this category is strict. 
if uh, uh, it sits in the short exact sequence for some z, So if, if x is uh, the kernel of some uh, morphism from y to z, yes. So yes, yes, yeah. This is. Uh, I mean that the formalism of Andre is more uh, general, but yes. But the uh, case of exact categories uh, corresponds perfectly to this picture. Yeah. And uh, uh, one says that x, um, maybe y, is semi-stable. If on, only if uh, for any strict f from x to y, mu of x is uh, small. Sorry? Yes, a monomorphism F is. Because it is strict, it is monomorph. We have uh, this inequality. And uh, the theorem of. Uh, Harden Narasim Han generalized by Andre, but it seems the, the proof follows the same steps by there are more uh, theoretical, theoretical category problems and states that for any object X in C, there exists a unique filtration x such that uh, the inclusion of, uh, uh, sorry, it's x, of x uh, i to x i minus 1 are strict. And uh, that the sequence of uh, slopes is strictly decreasing. Yes. Uh, yes, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, okay, six, so, uh, yeah, okay, so. Filtered modules. So in this case, M is strict, so this category is abelian, eh? M is strict, if and only if it is, is a clinic uh, the sex yes sorry
Thank you. Yeah, so uh, in this case, uh, yeah, uh, strict objects correspond exactly to isoclinic objects. And uh, we have uh, so the theorem of Giordano Manning already. Uh, Semi stable, yeah. The theorem of Giordano Manning. which says that for any M, there exists a unique decomposition of M into the direct sum of the clinic models. So, uh, the slope of M is exactly the, so minus slope of M in the sense of uh, Giordano Manin theory. And uh, yes, so any subobject of any clinic object has the same slope here. So the definition. And uh, over uh, an algebraically closed <laughs> no, it, any module decomposes uniquely in a direct sum of is a clinic modulus. Oh, yes, for uh, different slopes. Uh, yes, you. Okay, yeah, but. So, uh, over an algebraically closed uh, K, uh, is a clinic modulus of slope, say, uh, lambda equal to. A by B are exactly the direct sums of copies of um, K zero phi washed by phi B minus P A. So uh, one can also uh, remark that uh, if uh, M is uh, of slope zero, so this is equivalent to the existence of an OK zero lattice in M stable under the action of Rabinius, and therefore the slope zero modulus correspond exactly to etal modulus in the sense of uh, first talk.
Yes, as a clinic, yes. But they are stable, so a fire induces a map from my lattice to itself. No, because you have a non-zero slope. Uh, if, for example, phi is a division by P, the image, uh, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, definition. So a filtered phi model over a finite extension K of K zero. <laughs> so is by definition a uh, filtered phi module M uh, equipped with uh, filtration structure. Uh, yes, uh, fi uh, yes, uh, f plus, uh, sorry, filtration structure on uh, MK, which is uh, the extension of scarers from K0 to K. So, on this category, Uh, we define the degree as uh, the degree in the sense of uh, Hodge theory, so filtered structure, THM, uh, plus uh, minus the uh, T, uh, TN of M, this is the definition, okay, MK, and uh, the rank is always a dimension of M, in, oh, Definition, M is uh, weakly admissible if and only if uh, it is uh, semi-stable of slope zero. So, Concretely, this means that th of m is equal to tn of m, and that for any subobject n of m, strict, th of n is less or equal to tn of n. So this is a Fontaine definition of uh, weak admiss admissibility, but weak admissibility, but written in terms of a, a harder Narasimhan formalism. So the following uh, uh, result is very easy to prove, but is, it is surprising. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 
the category MF of uh, weak, so of uh, weakly admissible uh, uh, filtered phi modulus is a billion. But the proof is easy. Next paragraph, hierarchy of periodic representations. Sorry? This one? It's category of weakly admissible filtered phi modulus. Of periodic representations. So uh, we define uh, several functors and a category of periodic representations over a local field. <coughs> so the first function is a Durham function. So they are all uh, constructed using the general receipt of Fontaine, uh, but using different period rings. So we will say that uh, V is uh, the RAM representation if and only if uh, uh, it is uh, Bidoram admissible. And in this case, we have an isomorphism between uh, V tensor Bidoram over QP and V uh, and uh, Gidoram. V tensor of Bidoram over K. But if you know Gidoram, so we cannot reconstruct V from this isomorphism. So define decrease by the same uh, procedure. So it takes values in uh, the category of uh, filtered modulus over k, phi modulus over k. Oh. Taking Galois invariance of a tensor product of V with decrease. And uh, again, so we say that uh, V is crystalline if and only if it is decrease admissible. <coughs> Sorry? Okay, yeah, uh, because I switch from French to English and uh, vice versa. <laughs> okay. Uh, So, by, uh, from the, the general property of admissible representations, we, 
Sorry? No, because, uh, yeah, because these, these are five modulus over k0, but it keeps with filtration over k, which is bigger. Because they have an induced Durham filtration. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, here we can uh, recover V from decrease of V. Using the, sorry, yeah, with QP, uh, using uh, uh, the fact that uh, the invariance of field zero. Uh, decrease uh, under the action of Rabinius is QP. So if we take uh, field zero and uh, invariance under the action of Rabinius on the both sides, here decrease disappears and V is expressed in terms of uh, this tensor product, so in terms of decrease. Hmm? Uh, I mean, here we can, here we cannot. There exists another case. Uh, so, uh, the third uh, and the last functor, D semi stable. which goes to the category of uh, filtered modulus over k, uh, uh, filtered phi modulus over k. It keeps with addition with a monodromy n. Uh, which is defined by the same way, but using the ring be semi stable. And uh, it's easy to see that uh, again we can recover semi stable representations. from their semi-stable modules. Okay. So, here is a general picture. So, what kind of uh, representations uh, appear in this theory and how they are related. Uh, so we have a category of crystalline representations, which is smaller than the category of semi-stable representations, which is smaller than the category of Durham representations, which is smaller than the category of hot state representations, and which is smaller than the category of all periodic representations. So, uh, uh, just uh, some comments. 
Uh, it's easy to construct a periodic representation which is not hot state. For example, taking a periodic power of a cyclotomic character where A is not an integer. It is not hot state. So we see that this is a strict inclusion. Uh, it is easy to see that semi-stable representation, is, uh, so this class is strictly smaller than the category of Doram representations. So it can be easily constructed using representations, ramified representations with finite image. Um, give uh, examples. So they are automatic uh, examples. So they are all uh, uh, Durham automatically, but uh, they are not semi-stable. So we checked uh, this too. Uh, uh, to uh, give an example of semi-stable representation which is not crystalline, one should just imagine to construct a representation which is recovered by this special period X. So B semi-stable is uh, obtained adjoining to decrease some spatial period X, which is uh, the logarithm of this element. So one should uh, uh, construct a representation which is in some sense covered by, which has this element as a periodic period. And uh, uh, such a representation, uh, it's easy to construct. Uh, so let's um, define, uh, to take Q, say a power of P times a unit, periodic unit, and uh, consider uh, the action of uh, the Galois group on uh, roots, P and fruits of Q. So this action is given by some map, Psi, with, yeah. And uh, Psi, so this is a map from GK to ZP. And uh, we consider the Galois representation given by these matrices where uh, chi is a cyclotomic uh, uh, cyclotomic uh, character. And uh, this representation is uh, semi-stable, but not crystalline. And uh, such representations appear exactly in the semi-stable reduction of uh, elliptic curves. So, uh, it is less obvious uh, to construct how to construct a, a hot state representation which is not uh, um, sorry 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 uh, uh, yes um, a hot state representation which is not the RAM and uh, in fact, uh, in the first uh, paper of Fontaine about uh, where he constructs um, the, uh, the RAM and uh, crystalline rings, uh, he asks if one can find such an example. 
and uh, uh, so the the entry is not uh, obvious, uh, but um, it follows from the fundamental exact sequence. So, just uh, I give you this example and stop. Uh, so one can prove that any extension of the following form, zero, QP minus N, V, QP zero, for uh, N big O equal to one, is not the RAM representation. But it is uh, a, a hot state. So uh, um, this follows from uh, the fundamental exact sequence and uh, was uh, probably written explicitly first in the paper of Bloch and Cato. Uh, with different period, uh, with different weights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you have the same weight, you have, you can construct something uh, with, uh, yeah, upper triangular matri matrix, but here that's fine, yeah. So I stop here.